Welcome to Donnelly's Chocolate Shop. Joining me here is Richard Donnelly, one of the world's finest chocolate makers. And now that he's poured his big batch of chocolate on the counter, uh, you're going to stop listening to anything I have to say. But um, Richard is going to make chocolate for us step by step. So Richard, is this the first step? You pour it on the counter? The first step is tempering the chocolate. So what we're doing, it's cooling down most of our chocolate to about 90 degrees. Then we're going to mix it with some chocolate that's about 110. What's the purpose of that? That's tempering, and that prepares the ingredients so they're homogenized. Uh -huh. And so when we work with them, they set quickly, and they have the right texture and the right flavor. I can see swirls of different colors of chocolate in here. Is it's that beautiful. what you're blending? And it smells fabulous. Oh. Now, Richard, you've been uh, noted in many magazines and by many experts and on many lists as one of the world's finest chocolatiers, making the best, uh, one of the 10 best chocolates. What makes your chocolate so fabulous? What we do is we start with the best ingredients we can buy. We make really small batches, and we've had about 20 years to perfect our recipes. What is your favorite recipe? I really don't have a favorite recipe. You like all chocolate equal? Mostly <laughs> I eat just the simple pure chocolate. So this is, is this dark or light? This is dark chocolate. It smells fabulous. This is actually a blend of two types of French chocolate. The next step in our process is molding. Richard, tell us how it's done. Becca, we have about 30 pounds of tempered chocolate. Mm -hmm. We're gonna fill the mold. Right, we're up gonna to let, the top? Up to the top. Okay. We're gonna let it sit for a little bit, and then we're gonna flip it. The chocolate that drains out is gonna create a cavity. Okay. And that's where we put our filling. And then we're gonna fill. Okay, let's go. This is gonna be, whoa, this is very fun. Oh my. Oh boy, that looks really good. So I'm gonna vibrate to get the air bubbles out. Okay. Like a paint shaker. Now we're just going to let it sit for about a minute. All right, here's another one. Okay, this is this is very fun. There's nothing quite like a chocolate waterfall. This is the same technique as Santa Claus, with Easter Bunny, Hearts. We use this machine a lot. Okay. All right. Well, we'll. Uh, Richard's going to continue to mold chocolates, and when we come back, you'll get to see them filled. Um, Richard, what have you got in that pot? This that is looks fresh great. cream. Oh. We've soaked Tahitian vanilla beans in there for oh. about half an hour. Mm. We heated them. it up. Now we're going to pour it on our chunks of French dark chocolate. Oh, this looks great and smells fabulous. Ah. This is one of the best chocolates we make. Really? It's my favorite. You think so? What makes it so special? You know, it's a very simple recipe with great vanilla beans. It's the vanilla beans. Okay. And, what, and, and where do you get vanilla beans? We buy Tahitian vanilla beans. We think they're the best in the world. They're $475 a pound. Holy cow. And they're worth it. Oh my gosh, 400. So when you see vanilla beans in your chocolate, you know you're paying for the, the uh, high-end stuff. So I'm just stirring this up. Okay. We're going to get it completely homogenized. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to put it in our chocolate mold that we've already coated with chocolate. All right. Well, it looks great and smells fabulous. And oh, yeah. See how it's shiny? It's very shiny. And it it's looks even. Oh, it looks no great. No bumps. That's perfect. That's all you do. So that's so, so simple. Okay, now we move on. Now you've got a pastry bag filled with the same recipe? We made this this morning. Okay. The same exact recipe. All right, so you have to cool it off, I'm guessing. So you fill right up to the top. Just a little bit below the top. And you're saving room for? We're going to close it with a layer of chocolate. Okay, when we come back, Richard will finish his chocolates, and you can see him in action at his chocolate waterfall. You don't want to miss that. We're going to leave you with the final step in making world-class chocolate. Richard, here's our, here's our uh, mold, and we filled it. And what happens next? Now I'm going to put the bottom on. Okay. Just going to spread some chocolate. All right, so you're going to seal them up. Ooh. All right. So you just spread it with your giant paddle. Nicely done. All right, for uh, This Is Us, I'm Becca King-Reed saying thanks for watching. And is that about it? There's one more thing we have to do. Oh, final step. What is it? We have to try one. Taste the chocolate. Okay, I think we can, uh, we can squeeze that in. Ooh, that looks good. You get your pick. I get my first. Ooh, all right. Cheers. Oh, mm-mm-mm.